Hi, and welcome to this video. As Sophie Wood keeps growing, we have more and more products that need to be stocked, and we need to have an eye on our inventory level. Doing so helps us avoid running out of goods and being unable to deliver to our customers, which will ultimately protect our excellent reputation. Good inventory management will help us prevent product shortages and keep just enough inventory on hand without having too much. It will also ensure that smarter decisions are taken about what to order and when. And by keeping track of all of the ordered products and those that we have on hand, we can avoid inventory recounts just to make sure our records are accurate. That's a time-saving process we should not underestimate. So let's see how to do basic warehouse operations in StealthyWoods database. All right, here I am on my database. Now, since Stealthy Woods inventory management is vital to our company, I'm going to need to understand all of its particularities. So that's why I'm going to start with some basic inventory operations, such as receipts and deliveries. Now, let's jump to the inventory application. And I'm going to see right away an overview of all of the um, operations that we have waiting for us in our warehouse. So I see that I have two delivery orders to process and three receipts to process. But to fully understand the whole flow, I'm going to start by creating a sales order. So let's go to the sales application. I'm going to create a new quotation. Let me choose my customer, Adrian, and then I'm going to add the product. So I'm going to choose my product, uh, Stealthy Wood Mug. Now, yes, we do make mugs now. I think it's a really great uh, product to have for brand awareness. Okay, and Adrian would like to purchase three mugs. Now, right away, you may notice that we have a little I next to the quantity, and in fact, it's red. If I click on this, first of all, I'm going to be able to see uh, what we have available. So the forecasted stock and what's actually available. So all planned operations included. All right, and it's red right now because, as you'll see, I don't have any mugs on hand. Okay, so I'm creating the sales order, but it's going to give me a little warning saying, hey, he's ordering three, but you don't actually have three to sell. Uh, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and confirm this. And once we click on confirm and save, of course, a delivery order is going to be generated. So let's click on the delivery order, and I'm going to try to check the availability. Of course, no items will be reserved because we don't have any in our warehouse or any on hand. And if I try to validate, it's going to say, hey, you can't do that because uh, there are no reserved quantities. So, OK, that's no problem. Let's go ahead and purchase this mug. So I'm going to jump over to the purchase application and create a new RFQ. So let's choose our vendor wood corner. OK, yes, they sell mostly wood products, but they also customize mugs as well. And then we're going to add the product, our Stealthy Wood Mug. I'll purchase five of this item. I'm going to change the unit price as well. All right, and then I'm going to save this and confirm the order. And that will also allow me to receive the products right after I've confirmed the purchase order. And yes, we can manage the receipt from the purchase application because Odoo apps are all integrated. But let's check it out from the inventory app. So I'm going to go back to my main dashboard, inventory. Now I see I have four receipts to process, so let's go ahead and click on this and process the receipt that we have for those mugs. Okay, so Stealthy Wood mug, I've ordered five. We're gonna validate this. Okay, I haven't recorded any done quantities. So the reserved quantities, or in this case, the quantity that we have under the demand section will apply. If I want to change that amount, I can always go to edit and change it here. But I did receive all five items. So let's go ahead and save and validate. Now it's done and we've received the mugs. We have them now on hand. So then we can process the delivery order. So we're gonna go back to our inventory overview and I'm gonna to go to my delivery orders. It should still be in the waiting stage because it's waiting to be reserved. So I'm gonna click on waiting. Okay, then I have Adrian L here the three mugs. Now we're going to click on check availability. They're automatically reserved. The three, we have them available. And then we can validate this delivery. And it's done. We send it to Adrian and he's ready to accept those mugs. Now it's possible that when you're completing one of these flows, you may not be able to fulfill an entire delivery order and same for receipts as well. Uh, but that's okay. We do have an option for that. Now let me show you how it works. Let's go back to the sales application and we're going to create a new uh, quotation for Adrian because he loved his Stealthy Wood mugs so much that he wants to purchase four more. 
Okay, now we know, and we can check the little eye here, we know we only have two uh, available units on hand because he purchased three the last time and we purchased five. Okay, so we have two left, two mugs left that are available, but he wants to purchase four. Okay, the eye turns red again, that's okay. Let's save and confirm this. Then we can go to our delivery. Okay, we're gonna check the availability and we see that two are reserved. Okay, so even though the demand is four, we still have two and they'll be reserved for this uh, delivery order. But let's go ahead and click on validate. Okay, we have not recorded any done quantities. That's okay, we're gonna apply the reserved quantities. So let's click on apply. Now it will say that we've processed less, um, uh, less or fewer cups or fewer mugs than we were meant to. And so I have two choices. I can either cancel and just wait. Um, I can say, that's okay, he'll just take the two for now and we'll forget the rest by not creating a back order. Or I can say, okay, we'll go ahead and send the two now and then we'll send the other two at a later time and we'll create a back order for that. So let's create that back order. Okay, for these two, it goes to the status done and you'll see that the demand has changed uh, from two and the done um, has also changed. So we only have two here. So what happened to the other two? Well, in fact, if we jump back to the sales order, we're gonna notice that a new delivery order was created uh, for the other two items that we're still waiting on or that Adrian is still waiting on. Okay, and we'll see that here. So he's still waiting on two and it's associated with that original sales order. So let's go ahead and purchase some more mugs. So we're gonna create a new RFQ uh, wood corner. Okay, let's add the product, our stealthy wood mug. This time we're gonna purchase 10 because it seems like a popular product. Okay, we can go ahead and save this. Okay, confirm the order. And then again, let's accept the receipt from the inventory application. Okay, let's go ahead and process the receipt. All right, now I can edit this and change the done quantity. And let's say I actually only received eight. Okay, I can do the same here. I can save, click on validate, and I can either create a back order or say there's no back order. So maybe uh, Wood Corner said, okay, we only have um, eight mugs available now, but you can order the other two later. But we say, okay, actually eight's just fine. Uh, we'll wait to order more when we have more interest in our mugs, so we won't create the back order. Okay, so no back order. I see that two were not done, but we had a demand of eight, which is done. Okay, and so we received those items, the eight mugs, and then we can go back to our inventory overview and process the rest of Adrian's order. Check the availability, validate, apply and the whole flow is done. As you can see, it's really simple to uh, manage receipts and deliveries as well with Odoo's inventory application. That's all for this video. Be sure you check out the other inventory videos because they get even more fabulous. If I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.